Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Judicious Fire. I am on the iOS server. I'm going to be doing my third day of the Warden Challenge today. Uh, what I have found over the course of the last uh, two days is this. Using uh, an insignia set like uh, Brawler's Favor, uh, that created uh, quite a deal of damage, uh, but that was only good for the first uh, one or two Wardens. Then all of a sudden, survivability became an issue. Uh, last time I attacked, my uh, heroes did not survive the full challenge. They ended up being uh, taken out with about a minute left to spare. I'm going to try to mitigate that by using uh, healing pets this time. I'm going to go low on the damage and just go for more survivability. Uh, the six that I'm using are... Beast Tamer with a nine flame guard, a survival insignia. He has my only damage dealing pet. Uh, and if anybody's going to go out in this battle and get knocked out, it's going to be Beast Tamer. If he does, I might uh, substitute another hero in for his place. I am using Revenant, 9 uh, Flame Guard, Survival Insignia, Bublo. Bublo will always be operating, whether or not Revenant is attacking or under attack. Skeletica, 9 Flame Guard, 8 uh, Survival Insignia. Uh, Rudolph. Rudolph will always be operating uh, because the hero will always be under attack. Rockno. I've got a 9 Flame Guard, Survival Insignia, as well as the pet Fennec. Fennec will be operating because Rock Rockno will be up in front as my main tank and will always be under attack. Professor Chubbs. I am using a 9 Flame Guard. Uh, an 8 Survival Insignia, as well as Mini Angie. Mini Angie will always be operating, much like Bublo. Mahatma. Mahatma's in there with a 9 Flame Guard, an 8 uh, Survival Insignia, as well as a uh, uh, Yulifant. Yulifant will be operating when attacked. Okay, let's hop in here. Made sure to get my team straight. Uh, just a uh, Got a message on uh, my channel from Forge CC. Forge stated that he was coming for me. Uh, Forge, you are correct, man. Great score today. I see it's Suji, Shinkiro, Korean Rambo. I see the whole crew uh, all up here. Uh, just want to make sure that uh, it's very clear. This is all just good competitive fun. Uh, these are all some of the best, best players in the game. And uh, we're just having fun here. Just good, clean, competitive fun. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to buy the attack bonus. And not forget it this time. Uh, make sure my team's straight. Yes. I have the six heroes in here. Now, only three of the six are the recommended heroes. I'm not using the other uh, three. Uh, Bogey, Molt, or uh, our friend Grimfiend. Okay, let's go in here. Let's press, press the challenge button. Okay. If you see, uh, I've just started on the level 40 Warden. I'm going to go with Rockno, Skelly, Chubbs, Revenant, Mahatma, Beast Tamer. And just pray they stay alive. Come on, boys. Just stay alive. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for any record-setting scores here. I'm asking for you to stay alive. I'm going to keep a close eye on Beast Tamer. Uh, if anybody's going to go out, it's because of Beast Tamer. Uh, it, it will be Beast. Uh, the reason being, he has a damage dealing pet now I don't know the answer to this but what may be the case is the damage may be increased to the heroes when the heroes are uh, equipped with a pet that causes damage uh, I noticed that with my damage dealing pets from day two it's almost as if the uh, damage done to the pet 
which uh, really is not the case. A pet can't really be damaged. Uh, but in this case, I think that some of that damage is transferred back onto the heroes. So be careful with the uh, damage dealing pets once you get to the warden level 40. You'll want to use uh, healing pets and uh, just hope that they are going to activate. We are coming up on one minute left. Come on, beastie. Why don't you do it to me, man? Stay out, stay in there. Every warden has five health blocks. Every block represents 20% of the warden's health. I started off with a relatively a brand new warden. I think I had uh, 30 some million uh, damage on the warden. You see how very little damage I'm doing. Uh, we have just gotten to one block, 20% of his total health taken. It's a very, very uh, low damaging uh, attack. We are using the porcupine method. I've talked about this in the two prior videos. Uh, the big bear is represented by the warden. The big bear strikes the porcupine. It is the bear that takes damage. It's the bear that goes running off into the woods. We are being able to do that with our flame guard as well as our burning plate. Okay. Let's see how we did. I was at uh, 4 and 30. Oh, I'm at 4 and 113. Very nice. Okay, very good. I just got to keep it, keep that going. Keep that rhythm going. Well, I want to change anything. <laughs> Let's see. Do I want to change anything? I don't think I do. I think I will regret it. Let's get it another chance. Let's try it this way. And just be happy that our guys survived. Uh, let's go to, uh, eh, let me think about this for a second. No, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, make sure my team's straight. Yep. Let's try the challenge. Okay. Rockno, Skelly, Chubbs. Revenant, Mahatma and Beast. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Take a look at these pets. See if any of them are working. I don't see Chickaboom actually firing. I was running a Reapster. Reapster is a pet that is designed to it to activate when the hero is under attack. But Reapster also slows the attack speed of the enemy. And in this challenge, the majority of the damage that is being done is because the warden is attacking me and receiving damage from my flame guard. So by lowering the attack speed of the uh, enemy warden, I am actually doing myself a disservice because the warden is not going to be taking as much damage since his attack speed has been slowed so dramatically. You can see the uh, heels going off uh, as the green numbers appear above uh, everybody's head. You can also see that I'm pumping out a lot of 60,000 crits. And a lot of 60,000 normal damage. So I am capping out at the damage. The damage is not uh, not the issue. It's a damage cap warden. Uh, 
I can't do more than 60,000, so I'm just going to have to hope that will be enough. Where's his health bar? I can't really see. Okay, coming up on 20 seconds, we had no problem with survivability this time. Uh, the, the healing pets were more than sufficient to keep my guys alive. Uh, the majority of the heroes are not going to be able to activate their skill. Uh, so guys like uh, Skelly will not be able to heal themselves, so we have to just rely on pets and the survival insignia to be able to do that. Okay, um, let's take a look. We were at 200 million, four wardens and 200 million, which does put us uh, currently in first. Very nice, very nice. Uh, okay, so we just inched ahead of Forge and Asuji, Shinkiro, and the Korean Rambo, and uh, we will see what tomorrow brings. I'm sure that these guys all have an ace up their sleeve, some trick in the, in the bag that they're going to try, uh, but remember, I'm doing my research too. Uh, happy clashing to you all. Uh, I want to wish you a great night, and I will check you on the next Warden Challenge. All right, see ya. Bye-bye.